Hello Techies! In our previous tutorial, we have learned how to work with open FTP connection as well as close FTP connection actions as part of FTP automation. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to work with list FTP directory action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. First of all, we'll see what we can do with this list FTP directory action. By using this action, we can return the subdirectories as well as the files that are available in the current directory by using open FTP connection. All right. First of all, we'll see the parameters. What are the parameters that we have for the list FTP directory action? First one is connection. The, this is the same variable which we are going to use whenever we have opened the open FTP connection. You can see over here, I'm having the variable FTP connection. If you don't have, in that case, what you can do, you can create a new FTP connection and then you can provide the details over here by giving the variable name over here. All right. The second parameter is the path. What is the path? If we want to know the subdirectories or the files in a particular path, in that case, we are going to provide the path over here. All right. Now, as a first step, I'm not going to give any path over here so that I will get the subdirectories and the files which we have in the particular path. So if I'm not going to mention the path, how can it go ahead and get the details of the path? Let me show you that. If you see over here in my IS manager, I'm having win FTP, right? Let me go to advanced settings over here. Now, if you see over here, the physical path, I have mentioned it as E colon FTP, right? This is the default physical path that what we have for the FTP server. So what it will do, if I'm not going to mention any details of the path, it will get the details of the particular directory or the physical path and then it will get all the sub directories as well as the files all right now what are the variables produce it will produce the sub directories list as well as the files which we are having in the particular path now i will go for the e path over here the default path and you can see i am having three directories and one file that i am having it if i want to know from the browser i have already open the FTP server that is FTP 192.168.1.6 and I have provided my username and the password, right? There you can see I'm having three directories. One is documents, another one learning text actions, another directory PDF automation. Along with that, I'm having a file with the name of employee.xlsx file. Now, if I go for the physical path, I can find the same details over here. I'm having three subdirectories. Along with that, I'm having one directory over here. So whenever I'm going to execute the flow, what will happen by using list FTP directory action, it will get all the directories as well as the files which are available in the current physical path. All right, we'll see that. Let's click on save. Now, if you see the flow variables, I got it directories as well as the files. Along with that, I'm having FTP connection, which I have used for the open FTP connection. All right. Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. Now you can see the flow has been executed successfully. Now, if you see in the flow variables of the directories, now if you click on the variables, I'm having documents, learning text actions, and the PDF. This will come under the list of FTP directory. And if you want to know more about these documents, you can click on more actions over here. And there you can see the full name. You can get the documents on last modified date, name, parent. You can get all the variable values that you can get it for the particular directory. All right, let me click on close. In the same way, we're also having the files. Let me select the files flow variable. And there you can see I'm having only one item over here that is employee.xlsx. If I want to know the details of this, let me click on more. And you can see the full name and last modified along with the name. And you can see the file is there, right? So I can get the extension and name without extension and size of the file, you can get it. All right, these are all the details which we are going to get 
from the list FTP directory action, by using this action, we can get the directories as well as the files along with the values we can get it. All right. Now, let me go ahead, let me click on edit once again for the list FTP directory. Now over here, I have not specified any path over here. All right. Now, if you go back to the physical path once again, in my documents, I'm having some more documents over here. You can see there's a lot of documents related to the Power Automate desktop, which I have. Along with that, I'm having some of the directories, some of the exe files that I'm having. So one subfolder along with that, I'm having some more files that I have. How can I go ahead and get it by using physical path? How can I mention the path over there in my list of file, list file directory action? There, I'm simply going ahead and I'm going to give the path over here as documents. I'm not going to give the entire physical path over here like e colon FTP slash documents because of the default path or the physical path which I have mentioned already for the FTP server will be there and it will go through the path and then it will check it out slash documents in a subdirectory and then it will get the directories as well as the files by using this list FTP directory action. All right, now let's click on save. Now, if you see previously, I had documents learning as well as the PDF directories, right? Along with that, you can see files. I'm having only single file. That is the default or the physical path which we have given for the FTP server. Now, let's go ahead. Let's run the flow once again to see what is the output that we'll get it when you have mentioned the path for the, uh, for the list FTP directory. All right, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And now you can see it's it's gone through the physical path that is e slash FTP slash documents. And there you can find the directories over here. If you see over here, I'm having only one directory inside the documents path that is test. And you can see over here, I have created very recently this one so that I can you can see the latest date and the name is test and you are having the parent document you can see as parent as documents. All right. Now let's click on close. Now if you see the files over here inside the subdirectory that is document lot of files that we have you can see uh, the PDF MSI files PPT and whatnot you will get all the details over here which are related to the files by using list FTP directory. All right. I hope you understand how to work with list FTP directory by giving blank path as well as by giving the sub directory path inside the path for the list FTP directory action. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye bye. Have a wonderful day.